Something I've been wanting to try. One needed a shop to go to, though, for an alternative, because we sort of did all the rest of them. A, B, properly, I don't know. But, uh, recently, I've actually been able to go to a store that I haven't previously gone to, Marks and Spencers. Normally, only just go there for clothing and all that. But, uh, nearly all of them have shut, but there are still a few huge shops around and passing by just stopped in and I think one of the times I got this pack of reduced stuff which again is bleh, just like it was with the Gouda because hopefully this is going up second I'll make sure of that because I'll send it after I've sent the other one um, so this is just in date I'm eating it it's dated the uh, 13th and it's currently the 15th and then these have got like the barbecue beef jerky the generic one I guess that's dated to November and as a difference chipotle chicken jerky or chipotle chili chicken we've got to remember all the seats uh, that's dated to like January so we're good we might as well go with the nearly, we'll go with that just out of date ones first. 100% um, Farmer Shore British Beef. What size is the bag? 50 grams, so it's actually double what you get in the sort of standard sort of snack packs. High in protein. Also high in salt-ish. Um... Just looking at the health of each of them, the fats for the beef is reasonably the same. So is the saturates, so is the sugar, so is the salt. With the chicken, as you'd expect because it's chicken, uh, it's actually a lot lower on the fat and saturates. So. Ooh, we're getting some good chunks here. Uh smoked over applewood oh applewood smoke stuff is normally very uh potent in a good way so let's see it's certainly beef it's certainly chewy But then after so long, the the apple wood caught, sort of kicks in and gives you a nice sort of sweetness. I know another one that's been done with honey or various other sort of smoked smokiness. I'm making words up or phrases. That is very nice. Very nice indeed. Final grab bag. Mm -hmm. Now we're moving on to the generic stuff. Um, Interestingly, these are 170, what I just had. The other ones, where it's a smaller bag, it's actually 180 grams of raw beef per 100 grams of beef jerky, so there's actually more beef in it. Uh, also, it's slightly different as well, because the other one had some soy sauce, which I guess is part of the flavour and everything. But with these ones... Uh, we've got uh, demerara sugar rather than just regular sugar. Uh, tomato puree sea salt as well, which isn't used as much in this one. Still got the soy sauce in and the cider vinegar. And okay, so the other one was black pepper, garlic, dill, onions, and oregano in terms of like the spices. And this one is paprika, apple, concentrated apple. Okay. 
That wasn't on the other one. So they are going to be pretty different, though. Garlic, onions, cumin, oregano, and allspice. Oh, fenugreek's a spice. Oh, that was in the other one. Take out the not silica gel. It's sort of like silica gel. Can't have too many of these because it's a smaller bag, and if I'm trying to do what I normally do at the end of the videos, answer. They are a little thicker. Yep. I was sort of, I was expecting it. Because when you put it in, because of the concentrated apple, you sort of get the apple flavour pretty early on. And then, once you chew him, that's when that spiciness of the, uh, you know, the paprika and uh, the cumin sort of comes in. The cumin, call me in. Bad buns! That's a trend now, I've done that twice in the last two videos. That's pretty nice. Now this is the interesting one, I don't think I've had pork jerky, I've had beef jerky. I don't think I've had lamb jerky. You'll know, you'll be able to look in the history of the sip and snack and the snack stashes. I think this is the first time, this is the debut for jerky on the snack stash. As if that's a thing to be proud of. I don't know. So this will be different. It certainly sm smells chipotle. It certainly tastes like chicken. I guess it's a somewhat healthier alternative to beef jerky because it's chicken. It's decent. But I don't feel like the Chipotle is strong enough to counteract the strength of a, a good tasting pork jerky or a good tasting beef jerky. Which you can add to anyway, so. Yeah. Still very good. But I don't know, it seems to be lacking that certain genesequa. Also, I will say the bits in here are relatively tiny, which is a bit of a shame. So I'm trying to get two bigger bits, because you know what's coming next. We take two chicken, and then we go into this, and we take one. guess that one if I can get it out two uh, barbecue beef and then thankfully because they're bigger this actually works two peppered beef and there you go it's today's super jerky sandwich just gonna destroy my teeth
compelling viewing. I'm now realising I shouldn't have done that because that just tasted like a load of jerky in my mouth and I couldn't really say anything fancy about it. What a great finish to the video that was. Join me on the next one when hopefully it'll be more interesting. Anyway, go check out the other content. Other snack stashes with me. Other sipping snacks with me from the past but also Owen and the guest stars and all that. Uh, wrestling stuff, uh, myself and uh, and or Owen, or is it Owen and or myself? Because it's more often than not when uh, Halloween Horror Nights comes around, which he'll probably cover as well, um, is when I go solo on that stuff. So, uh, you got that, AJ's movie reviews and the verses and all that. Oscar um, talk as we head into the season, given that it is mid-August. The only reason we're starting early is because Toronto happens, and that's when all the buzz starts happening. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, overall, this was two-thirds of failure. No, one-third of failure. I can't do math.